Hey, what's up? Michael Locke here with ML Web Consulting. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, get this sort of cloud effect that Twitter has, and I, I would call it the, tw the Twitter cloud effect. Um, but you see this a lot with Twitter, with the Twitter brand, and um, this is a simple technique that can be done in Fireworks, and um, by learning this technique, you know you can do a lot of other things. So what I'm going to do is just do a print screen of the Twitter page, put it in um, Fireworks. As you see, I have a canvas size of 800 by 400, and all I'm going to do is select with my dropper this background here, this color here, so that it, it turns my background blue. All right, I'm going to go ahead and delete that, and what I'm going to do is get these, get this cloud effect that you see in the background here, this little faint cloud effect. All right. So the first thing you want to do is really simple. You're going to grab your circle tool, and all you're going to do is just draw a circle. You know, it could be black or it could be white. Let's just make it white for now. Okay. And then all you're going to do is just do a bunch of random circles. If you hold down as you as you do your circles, if you hold down the um, the shift key, it actually keeps the ratio and doesn't give you one of these these sort of uh, funny shape circles. So you just hold down the shift key and you can get like a nice nice uh, shape circle. And all you do is just do a bunch of random circles. Again, let's just do a bunch of them really quick. See, small, large. Let's move this one over here so you give it. Let's see. So you're going to do some random circles. And then once you're done there, okay, so you're going to grab your pointer tool up here and you're gonna just select them all you're gonna do modify combine union so what it does it unifies the entire all these different objects into one okay so then you go ahead and get your rectangle tool and just put a little rectangle through here and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna get your pointer tool select the cloud and then this rectangle here and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna do combine path union so that you get this one big shape. Okay, now you just add a little gradient to it. Go over here, go gradient, linear, and you want the top portion to be white. And the bottom portion, you want it to be white, but here, this little this little tool here, you want to select this and change the opacity or opacity down to uh, to zero. Okay, so there you have it. That's your first cloud. Now, what you want to do, you want to select this entire object and you want to lower the opacity down to about 20. Oh, I'm sorry, maybe like 40. So you just see it a little bit, or 36, or you know. And then what you can do is copy, Control C. And then Control V, so you copy and paste paste it in here. And then with this tool here, you're gonna flip it horizontally. Okay, so that you get a different uh, a different different shapes. You know, different. Uh, it's not the same re repeated shapes. So you just flip it a little bit, and that's it. And then if you wanted to get fancy with it, you can download a. Uh, a Twitter PNG file to get it in there so you have this sort of you're getting this Twitter Twitter look really quickly in done in fireworks using some of the shapes you know the vector tool and um, unifying the objects so that's pretty much it so that's uh, achieving the Twitter cloud effect in uh, fireworks all right.
Hope this was helpful. You learned a little bit from this. You know, the thing is, once you learn these concepts, I think it's very important and why I always go back to why I'm really big on this, these vector sort of objects and learning these things is once you do these and learn, learn how to create vector objects, you can then, there's a huge industry or a huge niche market of, of sites and designs that style that, that fits with this particular these particular tools and you look at some of these websites here they're they're all done using vector vector illustrations and things like that so I think um, this is something you definitely want to study and learn and, and, and add to your repertoire if you're you know if you're um, just starting out in web design you know definitely look into to fireworks and learning how to use these uh, these vector tools and, and and merging these tools and and learning how to work with them all right if you have any questions, shoot me an email, mlock at mlwebco.com, and uh, we'll be talking soon. All right, bye.